when you're stressed, when your body is in fight or flight, and you're really jacked up on stress hormones, your body is designed to shut blood off from the inner portion of your, your, your uh, abdominal organs, your digestive organs, your, your, your intestines, right? Your liver, your spleen, like all of these things that we require for digestion and to push blood into your muscles, your heart has to get a lot of nourishing blood so it can keep pumping really hard. That's what stress requires, right? And your brain. So the fight or flight mechanism, and I talk about this, I, I have a whole lecture dedicated so that you understand exactly what this is doing. Does it mean that you have to be in a life and death situation fighting or, or running for your life? No. When your alarm goes off in the morning, your, dump, your body dumps stress hormones into your system. It constricts your blood vessels. It raises your heart rate, right? And it puts blood into your muscles so you can get up and move and get going. So the stress response is active every single day, right? There's good stress and, and there's also less good stress. The less good, the bad stress is where you're thinking, worrying, um, especially psychological preoccupation that jacks your system up. I mean, if you imagine that you're in a house on fire trying to get out and like running for your life, you can raise your heart rate. You can you can you can have the same effect as if that was actually happening. That's not news to anybody, right? If your boss is a real SOB or you got a coworker who's a real problem or your marriage is on the rocks or you can't make the mortgage payment or whatever else, you're dumping stress hormones into your bloodstream all day long. Now, when you try to digest, when you eat and try to digest in those conditions, it slows down the the movement of food food and fluids through your intestines. And so it's very easy to get sluggish digestion. If for any other reason you have dampness, right? It can slow down the movement of food and fluids um, through your digestive tract. And this is a type of constipation, although it is not typically what we mean in a medical sense when we talk about constipation, but it does re result in slow elimination. So maybe you don't move your bowels every day or you go to the toilet every 48 hours, right? Which is not normal, which is not good. You need to eliminate on a regular 24 hour basis, at least one bowel movement every 24 hours is kind of minimum, right? To make sure that you're not also, when waste stays inside you and you have sluggish digestion, you're making more dampness because it's very irritating to your body not to eliminate all that bacteria. I mean, your stool is about 80 to 90% bacteria. So you need to get that out because it keeps your, it keeps your immune system sort of running normally. When a bunch of bacteria and waste stay in your intestines, you can end up getting inflammatory bowel disease and leaky gut where bacteria starts getting in through your, your, uh, in, intestinal wall into your bloodstream which causes systemic kind of markers of infection and your body thinks that it has a, a systemic uh, illness a systemic infection and in fact you do right because bacteria is getting in through your intestinal wall and this is how you end up with autoimmune disease so it's very important to normalize uh, elimination the second